This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance provides high-quality instructor-led training videos for desktop, IT and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free 7-day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. Excel put out a really fun new feature. Not only fun, I think a really helpful new feature, and it's a survey. You can actually create a survey now on your SkyDrive, collect the data in an Excel spreadsheet so you can get the information that you're interested in. I've logged into my SkyDrive, so here I am in the SkyDrive. You simply log into your SkyDrive, and you go create an Excel survey, and you just follow the leader. So what do I want to name this survey? I'm going to call this class. Example, oops, spelled it wrong. So please forgive me if I make any typos. Notice it's an Excel file. And I click on Create. Uh-oh, I can't do that. I already have one named that. So I'll call this, um, yeah, I have a duplicate in there. We'll call this Survey, Survey, oops, Created in Class. How about that? I don't have one named that. Survey Created in Class. And then what happens is it goes out into the web app and it creates the survey. Now in the background here, this is the Excel spreadsheet that's being created. So a title for the survey. I'm in charge of the company picnic, so I want to know information about the company picnic. What do people want at the company picnic? So I could put a description in here, but you don't need to watch me type. My first question. You click on the question and here's my first question. What would you like to eat. And the response is going to be a text, but look at the choices that you have. And did you notice that if you rest your mouse, it pops up a little help here? But I want a text answer. It's required, and I'm done. Now, I go to the next question. And the next question is, would you like family members to be invited? And this is going to be a yes, no question and it is required. You can choose a default here. I'm going to choose the default of yes. People can change that. And then done. One last question, but you can put as many questions as you want to. What games would you suggest we play? Because at our company picnic, we play games every year. And this is not a required answer. So I'll choose done. Now, anytime I want to go back and edit one of these questions, I simply click on it. And then I click on Share Survey. So now the survey is creating itself. And in just a moment, on my Excel spreadsheet, oops, excuse me, I forgot about this. I have to create a link to my survey. So I click on Create. It's going to create a link. Be sure to shorten that link. It's much easier and faster to utilize. And then you would copy the link and email this out to people who you would like to take the survey. And now I'm done, so I click on Done, and here is where it's going to populate. So as I email this link out, people are going to get the survey, they'll answer the survey, and then it populates right back here, and this is stored in my SkyDrive. So all I have to do to see what people are answering is go into my SkyDrive, it's right here in an Excel spreadsheet. Here's what the survey looks like. On the survey link here, I can go out and view the survey, and this is what it looks like for people. So what would you like to eat? Pizza. Would you like family members to be invited? Yes or no, right? They just choose whatever they would like. What games would you suggest we play? Twister, and then submit it. Thanks, your response was received. I'm going to go ahead and close that. And you can see as people start to answer my survey, it's going to collect the question answers right here for me. So I can simply go in here and see what people think. And then I can create a company picnic that makes people happy. Well, the best you can make people happy anyway. Back to the survey. Look, you can edit the survey. When you're finished, you can delete the survey. It's a really cool new feature that's available for you. And all of it was created in the SkyDrive. OK, so let me close this. Now let me go into Excel. And in Excel, I'm going to click on Open and go into my SkyDrive and browse in my SkyDrive. And at the root level of my SkyDrive, Survey Created in Class, I'll go ahead and open that. And you can see I was only working on that. 
I'm the only person who has done it, so I'm the only person whose answers you're going to see. But as people continue to respond to my survey, I can open up my survey right here inside of Excel, look at it, work with it, do what I need and want to with it. I love it. I really think that people, once they discover that this survey is available, I think people will start to collect data very regularly using the SkyDrive survey feature. It's time for another pop quiz question. When creating a survey via the SkyDrive, where is the survey stored? A, it must be stored in the backstage. B, it must be stored on the SkyDrive. C, it must be stored on the computer of the person completing the survey. D, it must be stored on a company or personal server. The correct answer, B, it must be stored on the SkyDrive. Whenever you're creating a survey, the SkyDrive is the location for accessing the survey and the location for storing the survey answers. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.